My name is Martinez Evans, and I'm a fat runner. A fat runner is someone who is fat and who runs. I run regardless of what my weight is because I love running. I'm breaking stereotypes about being fat and an athlete. You know, you're fat, you can't do this. I'm a marathoner. I can see the start line. Oh, In the media, when you see fat bodies being active, come on out, Mary. It's always under the guise of a weight loss journey. Some people don't want to lose weight. For me and for the other fat runners out there that's in the community, we promote physical activity without the guys of losing weight. Being active doesn't have one size. You don't have to be 120 pounds to be a runner. You can have some size on you. Let's dig in. My reward for completing a long run is carrot cake. Mm. I have carrot cake once a week. I'm going to enjoy my carrot cake because I'm running. This is some carrot cake somebody got me. I really need this. The fat running community is bigger than what you think. There's Facebook groups that has 15,000, 20,000 fat runners in the group. My average for a marathon is six and a half to seven hours. Ladies and gentlemen, the roads are now open. Over to the sidewalk. Thank you. Uh, I've had water stations taken away, finish lines taken down. They say that this is mile 25. I can't tell. The back of the pack is where I'm at. The roads are now open. Over to the sidewalk. Thank you. I ain't getting on no bus. For me, running didn't come to the mix until 2012. I had some hip pain. I found myself in a doctor's office and the doctor looked at me and said, Mr. Evans, I know why you're in pain. Because you're fat. You need to start walking, you're going to die. And being sarcastic, I told him, I'm going to run a marathon. The doc laughed at me. Got on the treadmill and I got up the next day and I did it over and over again. I ran my first marathon in 2013. I had lost like almost 100 pounds. January 2014, I got into a pretty bad car accident. That car accident took me down for seven months. I got depressed. I wanted to kill myself. Everybody was like, look at Martinez, he's 300 pounds and running. And when I got in those car accidents, nobody was there. I was just another fat guy on the couch again. Started running again. A lot of family and friends, even followers, was like, hey man, you getting back on your weight loss journey? It got so annoying to hear people say, are you on this weight loss kick again? And it's like, no, I just wanna run. So initially it was just me being spiteful to this doctor. But my goal is to promote awareness and body positivity. My message to the haters is go yourself. <laughs> My sights are set for the Big Sur Marathon. It scares the crap out of me because I know it's a six hour cutoff and it's very strict. My fastest marathon is six hours and 45 minutes. I am nervous that I won't finish in time. Tough Mudder, it sucked. It's kind of terrifying. You got this, dude. Which one of y'all gonna get my big ass off the ground, though? Hunter McIntyre, dragging my ass up the hills, literally pushing my ass. Come on! Tough Mudder was a mother <laughs> It was a beast. <laughs> I did it, I'm a Tough Mudder. And now it's onward to Big Sur Marathon. I'm a little tired. I had to get up at 3 a.m. just to be here, but I also have a lot of energy. I'm ready to get started and I'm ready to conquer this race. The journey begins right now, right now. Ah! I'm in the back of the pack. It's hilly. This hill sucks. Jesus. 500 feet elevation. This is a pretty damn hard race. Uh, I know it's a six hour cutoff. They said something about being at mile 21 by 11.50. And we are far from mile 21. 600 feet ascent. I'm not looking forward to it. I'm a little worried about this cutoff. Water, 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 water. This hard as Oh my God. Oh. 
Oh, here comes the pain. Here comes the pain. <sighs> Unfortunately, I got picked up at mile 21. I did not make the cutoff. Course marshals pull up next to me. Says, we need to open this course up. We can take you to the finish line. And they made me get in. For the past week or so, I wasn't able to run like I want to because I was sick. So I'm just going to let it go. Sometimes you're not going to cross the finish line. But guess what? I experienced Big Sur. I experienced that. Look at that. That is a win. You are experiencing life in spite of being fat. <laughs> Good for you. You're out there. Yes, I'm fat. I'm going to let my man booze fly. And here's why. Fat is a scripter. It's not a negative connotation. For me, it's a descriptor. I am fat, I have fat on my body, I have man boobs, but I'm also a runner. So for me, it's both. I am both fat and I'm a runner and I'm proud to be both. <laughs>